What's up everyone, Darkblade here with my review of the Destiny Beta. Now this is just a beta version of the game and thus this video will be a lot shorter than my normal reviews. Also be aware that a lot of what I said in my Destiny Alpha review applies to this review, so be sure to go and check that out. The beta version of Destiny gives us a lot more in terms of story. Compared to the Alpha, the beta does a lot better job at giving us a glimpse of what the main storyline will be about. You will play as a created guardian, resurrected by a ghost. The ghost aids you and gives you purpose in the world. With his help you are able to escape the ruins of Earth where you fell and make your way back to the tower in the last protected city on Earth. From here the story starts to pan out with four more story missions, a strike mission and an exploration segment. This all works well, especially with each story mission being relevant to the advancement of the story in some form, no matter how small it is. Some of the story during the missions is told through a lot of dialogue with your ghost, which is okay in my opinion. I was disappointed that the story had to end as the next part is on the moon, but this is a beta and we can't be given the full game yet. The overall feel of the story seems to be quite somber, but this is just the tip of the iceberg and it has got me excited for what is to come. I have only one real worry about the story and that is sometimes the pace of the dialogue can feel a bit slow. This is just nitpicking though as I am still excited for what the overall story will be like. I cannot comment too much on the gameplay here as a lot of it doesn't seem to have changed from the alpha. Briefly though, overall the shooting mechanics work great, having free weapons to use is fine, a normal weapon, a special weapon like a sniper rifle, shotgun or fusion gun, and a heavy weapon. The classes all work in sync with one another, with each having its pros and cons. The Titan being a tough but slow armoured class, the Hunter being a quick damage dealer, and the Warlock being a mage type class. I must confess I didn't notice too much of a difference in the classes from the Alpha version. Like the Alpha, you can only level up to level 8, so we only got to see one of the subclasses for each class. If there were any changes to the classes, they were very subtly made. I will do a little video on each of the classes in the coming week again, or you could always go back and check out my first look guides of the classes that is taken from the Alpha. I think the biggest thing with the beta in terms of gameplay though, is to see how the servers can handle larger amounts of players, as there are a lot more people playing the beta than there were the alpha. I have experienced only a little lag, which is a promising sign. Another aspect I think Bungie want to try out is limited time events, as I have read there will be one opening this week. These limited time events could be special missions or special PvP events. Overall the gameplay is still smooth, responsive and functional, although it would have been nice to give them a name, to give them a bit more personality instead of simply having a human warlock or a woken warlock. The entire game can be played multiplayer, apart from the tutorial level. You can play co-op with up to two friends on all the story missions, strike missions and exploration missions. This makes things go a lot more smoothly on the harder difficulties. Competitive multiplayer also returns with a few PvP maps including ones we didn't see on the alpha. The competitive multiplayer is fast and works well, even with all the different classes in the game. Even though this is a beta build of Destiny, the game still looks amazing. I was playing on the PS4, so I was happy with the visuals of the game. The use of lighting was especially a highlight for me. The character models all look fine and the environments look like they have had a lot of detail put into them. I've heard complaints about the 30 FPS, but to me personally, it didn't bother me too much playing the beta. The voice acting in the beta appears to have been cleaned up a bit since the alpha, with the voice of Peter Dinklage being given a robotic effect when the ghost talks. Also, we got to hear a lot more lines too, and it has put worries about his performance as the ghost aside. Some of the other characters in the beta delivered their lines a little bit too slowly, or with little emotion. This is one of the only worries I have when the game is released in September. I got to say I am still impressed with the game's soundtrack, especially the main theme with its haunting yet enchanting slow melody. Overall I was glad that Bungie included more story on the beta version of Destiny. I was worried that they were just simply going to re-release the alpha version again but for more players. I am pretty confident that with what I have seen here with the beta that Destiny should be a hit. I have no worries in terms of its gameplay, multiplayer or presentation. The only worry could be the story, but stories are a matter of taste as we will not get to make a judgement on this aspect till the game's release in a couple of months. Anyway, be sure to check out my Destiny Alpha review as a lot of what I said in that applies to the beta. 
So, until next time, I've been Dartblade, bringing you my review of the Destiny Beta. Hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.